And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, like, I think you done a video two days ago where you was like, oh, why don't these roadman show what they're doing now, bro? It's facts, bro. It's facts, bro. Man, they, they don't, fam. A lot of these men here that come off road, yeah? Mm. They, I watch these interviews, like podcasts and that, and they say, yeah, just, just yeah, streams and that. <laughs> they never tell you like what they're doing that's actually legit. I reckon them not are still peddling weed. They're just keeping it on the low, just shutting to their neighbours and their friends and that. But they never tell you, oh, I'm doing this. I'm an electrician or whatever. They don't. Yeah. They never tell you. Some some of them do. Some yeah. of them are humble enough to say, yo, I've just been doing deliveries, you know, for work. Exactly. Yeah, like, and there's nothing wrong with that, bro. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. You know, it is. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what people need to understand is that, cool, that like, you can be out here trapping... You can be out here doing fraud, but how long are you going to sustain that for? Like, it gets to a point where you're going to get older and you're going to look at your pay slip. You, need, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the property thing, they ask for your pay slips. It's all good you making money in the trap, but how are you going to clean the money? You know what I'm trying to say? So, a lot of people need to start thinking out here, bro. It's, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, Trust bro. Me, even being self employed, yeah, you get scrutinized. Yeah, let alone mm. being a, a man that's making money off the roads, not paying tax on that. Mm. So the, the, the thing is, yeah, like I was saying in a video the other day, yeah, at some point in your life, yeah, you're going to have to sit down for three <laughs> to five years. Yeah, You can let that be in the classroom or in the jail cell, because mm. if you, in order to get a good paying job and that, you need to sit down in the classroom for three to five years, whether it's uni or being an electrician or whatever. And, if no, you don't want to do that and you get on the road and that at some point yeah, they're gonna have you sitting down the judge is gonna have you sitting down oh, five years it's facts it's fact because and even me what was it once once said these judges yeah that wear the wigs and that then man there when they go into the courthouse yeah that day the sentencing day he might have given up 50 years worth of sentences and that and he will go mm. home and sleep good that night not mm. give a damn blood your mm. ass is in the cell fam for five years or even two years and that but yeah carry on so you see, it's even like I said, I was in Northampton for like three, four years. Obviously, mm. out there doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want to yeah, go into yeah, yeah. it, but it got to a point where I'm like, bro, like, man, don't want to be 30. Cool, I might have money, but what have I built for my life, innit? So that's when I had a realisation, like, yo, let me just get a job. Even if the job's not making as much as I was when I was out here doing it, but I know the long run, get peace of mind, I can invest my money, I can sleep properly, you know what I'm trying to say? And... Yeah. To be fair, I haven't, I haven't looked back because there's been times where, you, you know what I'm trying to say, you was on the road, so you know what I'm trying to say, like, there is yeah. times when you're like, rah, like, I don't want to work because someone's giving me orders, but in the long term, when you got your yards, you got your money, you can make enough money where you don't have to work for another man, you know what I'm trying to say, so that's the mentality I have right now, so.